to a vlog if you're new here my name is Brittany welcome in welcome in if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel join the Brit babes be in there like swimwear down with me since day one welcome back to a vlog baby so today as you can tell from the title of the video this is going to be a day in the life video because someone had asked me on Instagram live I've started going live on Instagram again and someone asked me to do like a day in the life video. How do you get it all done? Being a wife, a mom, having a job, being a content creator, like everything, right? So I said, okay, I got you, I got you. So we're here and we're gonna do a day in the life. Day in the life videos are something I love to do and I don't know why I didn't start doing it often, but I'm so happy you asked me because now I get to show you guys what I actually do and what life looks like before we get started for all my new subscribers i just want to touch bases on like who am i and what my life is about i'm Brittany. i'm a mom and a wife and a content creator i live in atlanta georgia or i, I live in georgia with my husband and our kids we recently just bought our home in june we closed on our first home in june so that's why you probably saw my like home content and stuff like that i have been doing content creating since I'll say 2020, that's when I got monetized on YouTube. I put out videos like since 2008, to be quite honest, 2009, 2010, like back in the day. But I was doing hair videos. I wasn't really doing vlogs like that. I wasn't consistent like that. I only became consistent during COVID, which is like, why not, right? Because what else is there to do during COVID? Right when I started doing my content consistently, I got monetized on YouTube and I just went from there. And my channel has been growing. We are literally at almost 14K. I feel like I hit 13K not too long ago. What I do for work, I obviously do YouTube and content creating and affiliate work and all that. But I also have a full-time job, which is through an airline Many of you know, many of you don't know. If you guessed it, you didn't guess it, I don't know, but it's a popular airline that I work for. I work from home. My husband also works from home, so we have, you know, flexibility with our children. It is Tuesday, and it's actually my day off. I have a full-time job, but I have some flexibility with my hours because I'm allowed to kind of pick my schedule. And the schedule that I work is Wednesday through Saturday because I am required to work at least one weekend. So today's Tuesday, I'm off today, but I still gotta clock in because I am filming YouTube. And we also have to, oh, so I am right here about to film this H&M fall haul that I've been trying to film for you guys for weeks now because those clothes have been sitting there forever. I'm also filming a shorts video, which is, if you guys don't know, shorts video is like, a real a TikTok, um, a short video on YouTube, you know, just just other ways where I can branch myself out. Also, I want to take pictures today. Y'all see, I did dye my hair back black. I know cats out of the bag. Like I was a brown girly for a while, okay, a couple weeks. All right, I stayed strong, but I missed the black hair, and so I cut my hair back into my bob. I kind of like messed it up because I slept on it. I did not wrap it. When I was growing my Instagram, growing my platform during the pandemic, I had so much drive. I was on it, y'all, like on it. I was like clockwork, like how I clock into my job, I was clocking into my Instagram and stuff. And I miss that about myself. And I try not to get hard on myself about things that have made me change, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, why did I stop? Why, why, why? But I cannot, you know, worry about why. I can just, you know, keep dusting myself off and trying again. This is my Canon 90D and this is the 50 ml lens because a lot of people ask me what lens I use. It's the 50 
mm it's not the standard lens that the camera comes with this one's a lot more crisp it's not a zoom camera i mean it's not a zoom lens so you can't zoom in or out but it's so crispy and i just love taking photos with this so for today since my husband works from home too <laughs> he's able to help me take my pictures so i need my husband to take these photos for, of me because this camera it's just it's just easier to bring someone along like of course i can put on the tripod and put the timer but i don't know i rather do that with my like iphone but because i want to rebrand myself i am choosing to use that camera i am making myself an omelet because i don't know i don't know what else i want to eat so i'm gonna make myself an omelet i already got my egg in here but I'm putting sausage in my omelet. Mm. So that's just that. I'm gonna pour myself, brew my, well, I'm gonna brew myself some coffee. I just got a coffee cup. Let me show you guys my little coffee station. I am going to have this caramel coffee. This is what I've been drinking in the morning. I also have vanilla and then I have the Cafe Bustella. Okay, y'all, I freaking scarfed down my breakfast. And now I forgot that I need to make a thumbnail for this vlog. I usually just use the same type of thumbnail. I use Canva Pro to make my thumbnails. I usually take just four photos, put them in a line, and post it. Like, I don't know what else to do, but that's what I do. All right, so let me see. What was the other photo that I had in here? Just made a simple thumbnail. So now I'm about to get in the shower. Feels like the first time. Throw away all.
give up my power Yes, afraid to lose each other Counting the hours till I see you again Could you be life lover and best friend Waiting for text back Wondering where what I purchased from H&M real quick. Some stuff is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna actually try it on because I just feel like it's self-explanatory. <laughs> big box from H&M. And then I also have this little bag. <laughs> okay, so this is like my fall haul that I have been wanting to share with you guys. I'm so excited. I got these t-shirts. I have one on right now. It's just like a basic tee. So you guys already know how it fits. It's just a basic tee. It's kind of cropped. It came in a two pack. So I got this heather gray color. And then I also got this, it's like a greenish color. What color is this? I got these in an extra small, right? Yes, extra small. And this is how they fit. So you guys already see that and then to match with it, I got some sweatpants. I live for H&M sweatpants, okay? I told you guys before, and I'll say it again, they're my favorite, favorite, favorite sweatpants. I have a pair on right now. These are my H&M sweatpants that I have on just for, you know, day to day. And then I got the I ordered these in the same colorway as the shirt. These are an extra small, just regular jawstring sweatpants. I love H&M sweatpants that has the jawstring at the ankles. Freaking love it with the pockets. What I got is another t-shirt. And it's the same type of t-shirt, only this is like stretchy nylon. I also got the matching sweatpants. I have every color sweatpants in H&M, so I was wanting a different colorway. So the moss green and this maroon, I got the wide leg instead, or straight leg. It's not wide leg, it's straight leg. So this is how the green outfit looks. Hope y'all can see, there's a lot of sunlight around, but this is what it looks like. And like I said, it's an extra small and they fit my ankles pretty good it's super comfortable like i said all the links will be in my description box if you guys want a certain item this is the maroon one and i really love this like i said the pants are a little loose at the end so they're not as tight at the bottom but it's the same fit of top they are fleece lined, which that's one thing i love about h&m sweatpants they just fit so good and they're comfortable and they keep you warm so okay next is this shirt that i bought 
It is a, you guys know what a mock neck is, right? It's just like a higher, semi-higher neck. This is also stretchy material, nylon type of material. And then I believe I got a black one too. I think this is the black one. Yes, this is the black one in extra small. This, oh no, this is actually a turtleneck. So I don't have any black turtlenecks. I have a lot of like brownish fall colored turtlenecks, but I don't have a black one. So I got an extra small. I got some trouser pants and I had a pair of trousers. Well, I think I still do have a pair of trousers from H&M and they fit really good, but the black ones I gave to my daughter. I got these in a size four. Hopefully they fit, cause girl, listen. So they're just regular black pants. I am obsessed with trousers. If you don't want to wear leggings and you don't want to wear jeans, but you still want to look preppy or sophisticated or like put together, get you a pair of trousers. Get you a pair of not, okay, I'm saying trousers, but they're slacks. Trousers, slacks, same difference. And this is how they come. This is the outfit with the white mock neck shirt and the trouser pants. The trouser pants actually fit perfect on me. They I always laugh at these pants because they remind me of restaurant waiter pants. Like if you're a server, get your slacks from H&M because they fit good, but they also give like stewardess server, but whatever. They are ankle, which is perfect if you wanna wear ballerina heels, plaits. I have some accessories that I'm about to show you guys that you can wear with it as well. First accessory that I got is this belt. I have been needing a belt for accessories and I feel like this is like the perfect belt. You know their belts come in sizes. I got a small. I don't know if I got an extra small. I should have got an extra small. I always end up having to put a hole through them. So that's how the belt looks. It's just like this small gold detailed belt, which you can wear with a skirt, you can wear with pants. I love it and I just needed a belt that matched certain things. I also got two pairs of shoes. I got these boots that I am super excited about. Ah! I got me a pair of sock boots. You can see the material. They're like nylon material. I freaking love them. I got a size 38. I think that's a size seven. I feel like H&M runs a little big, so I could have gotten a half size, but I didn't. Yeah, let me see. Very nice sock boots. And yeah, I've been wanting a pair of sock boots for the longest time, and I finally got a pair. And then I also ordered a pair of these. These are so nostalgic, because these are also coming back into style, but I promise you I had a pair of these when I was growing up. They have the gold detail. Super cute, but I do feel like they're a little big. Now these I would wear with these pants or you can wear flats. If you got some ballerina flats, really cute, you can wear that too. I feel so preppy in this time. I also got this bag, y'all. OMG. Do y'all see this bag? O-M-G, the details, like what? This matches like my whole outfit. I absolutely love this bag, like what? It is gorgeous. I think I'm gonna take this for pictures today. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take this for pictures today because leopard animal print is in right now, but I can't fully commit to like leopard leggings or anything like that or pants not yet not yet but i did decide to get a headband <laughs> so i just got this cheetah looking or leopard headband i think it's so cute it's a satin headband just to wear obviously not with this hair but I just thought this was cute and i wanted to be part of the cheetah <laughs> i wanted to be part of the cheetah gang so i got that and then what is this? I think I got a pair of leggings. What is this? Oh, I got another black top. Sorry, I forgot about that. So this is just like the 
maroon one that I got, but this is black. So I got me a black shirt. These next two items are like my favorite. Like they're my favorite because they also are on trend, but they're so cute. Tell me that's not cute. Like what? I think I showed you guys this in another vlog, but tell me this isn't cute. I don't know which bag should I wear today for photos. I don't know which bag. Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I got this scarf to match. I told myself, Brittany, you do not need any more scarves. And this is true. I have like three or four scarves and I just don't need any more. But when I say I am loving scarves, like when I see a scarf, I just have to get it. Like I have to get a scarf whenever I see it. Like, I don't know. It's just so cute. But I got a cardigan. I got a new cardigan. I am replacing the old holy cardigan that's ripped up with all the holes in it. And I got me a new long cardigan. This is how it looks. The only downside is it doesn't have pockets, but I don't care, I love it. It's super warm and oh, I love the sleeves. I'm just mad that it doesn't have pockets or buttons, but that's okay. Love this cardigan, love it. Camera's dying. <laughs> okay, but last, 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 I wanted to share with you guys something I got off of Amazon, but I got these earrings I'm obsessed with. Like, look at them. I've been waiting to wear these earrings and they are so gorgeous. That's how they look. Super cute. I am a mixed metal girl. And so having these on, they look gorgeous. But this is what I'm going to be wearing. Just some of the stuff that I featured in my haul. Just waiting for my husband to come downstairs so we can go to the place. And I'll get some B-roll for you guys. I was trying to finish my TikTok reel, but the camera died. So I'm trying to save the battery because the Samsung camera goes out of battery in like 30 minutes. So you know, those bricks are not in there, it's just the window. It's fine. I don't care about that. I care about my outfit. Um, my right? My right, right? Thirty-four right now pictures are done I have not seen them really like went through them or edited anything or nothing like that um, so I'll do that like later on tonight or something right now I am getting gas <laughs> I feel like I'm always getting gas when I'm talking to you guys I'm just exposing myself good grief so I'm gonna get gas and then I'm gonna grab a bite to eat real fast I can't really go far because I have to get Macy from school I changed back into my clothes. I'm like in my sweatpants. I will change into my mom jeans once we have our meeting at six o'clock. But right now I'm just wearing like sweatpants, so. We're off to Girl Scouts. This is the outfit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it. Macy, see the creepy tall guy? Got a skeleton! Alright, we're on our way, so I will talk to you guys later. Later! later.
Good morning. It is the next day. It's the last day of the day in a life vlog, even though I'm doing two days, but I wanted to show you guys what each day looks like because yesterday I was off of work. I was so tired yesterday. Um, that's just like a full day, what it does to me. You know, when I have content, editing, doing all of this, and I'm just tired, like I'm just beat. Yesterday I did my self-care routine, which is like my face and stuff, and then I just went to bed, y'all. I knocked out. But today I have work, but I'm actually going grocery shopping before I start work. Um, I put myself in coming in a little later today. So I work at noon. Macy is off to school. She did not. I just um, took her to the bus. When we are, when I have to go to work, she takes the bus. So, um, I have so much trash in this car. When I go to work, she takes the bus. So I just dropped her off um, at the bus stop. And, cause I do wait for her. I, I do drive her and I wait for her cause it's cold this morning. I should have went to Kroger, but now that I'm thinking about it, but whatever, we're already here. So let's just go in, grab some stuff and then go to Publix and then that'll be done. Hey guys, it is later on. Um, I am on break. Last time I came on here, I had went grocery shopping and I put the groceries up. I ate breakfast and I got right to work. So I probably didn't show none of that because I was just too busy putting the groceries away and stuff. You guys, I had like a hard day at work and I don't think I've updated you all on like work and stuff but for the most part it's a cool job right well no I wouldn't say that for the most part the benefits are good and excuse my eyes but I have been crying because like I said it was just a it's been just a tough day at work Wednesdays are normally not like this because I have three days off and I come back. I'm usually like good on Wednesdays because I'm, I haven't been to work in three days. So usually I'm excited, but today, no, not today. My job, right, has great benefits. They have great benefits, but as far as company wise, it's just your normal corporate job. It's still a corporate job. It's still micromanaging. It's still a lot of just corporate stuff and it's overwhelming. You know, I try to look past that and just do what I gotta do, you know? But lately, I've been having these feelings of not being where I wanna be, right? And I hate that, right? Because this is adulting, working, paying your bills taking care of your house and kids that's part of being an adult right but then i was thinking like when did we become so short with ourselves like you know 
Humans have the ability to be anything. A dog can't be nothing but a dog. Cat can't be nothing but a cat. But humans, we can be anything we want to be as long as we put our mind to it and work towards it. So who says you just have to work and die? Who said that? I don't want to just work and die. It has been heavy on my mind and I have been crying and praying, praying and crying because I always find myself in this situation where I don't feel fulfilled. Like, I always feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else and I don't even try to feel like that. Like, I try my hardest not to feel like that. Ain't that something? Like, when I, I be like, cool, I got me a little job, corporate job, great benefits. I'm here, I'm on time, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I bought a house, I got this, I'm in, I'm doing American dream, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And then out of nowhere, it's like my conscience would be like, tap, tap, tap on my shoulder. You know you're not supposed to be doing this, right? Like, and then bounce. And I'm just like, what, what, what? <sighs> that's, that's exactly how my interpretation of this is. Once I get that feeling, I start spiraling. I start like thinking like I'm not fulfilled in this, like whatever I'm doing, I'm not being fulfilled in. I feel like I have a greater purpose. I start reminiscing on my content of when I was really doing content that I loved. Cause don't get me wrong, I like doing vlogs, but I feel like ugh, there's so much more than just vlogs that I wanna talk about like, or do or, you know, be open to on my channel. like. You know that we wanted to do a podcast for a while because we just have unique situations and stuff that I just want to talk about. But I just feel like, no, Brittany, you're an adult. You're supposed to be taking care of your bills and doing what you're supposed to do. Like, I, fight, I just constantly fight with myself and it's frustrating because it doesn't go away. <laughs> the feelings doesn't go away. And I find myself... I'm gonna be open with you guys, okay? I'm gonna be open. When I say that, I say that because I don't want to say stuff to offend people or hurt people, but it's just my real thoughts. I be really frustrated with God. I really do. I be really frustrated with God because I'm like, why did you make me have these dreams and premonitions and just feelings of wanting more if I can't get there? <laughs> Like, if I can't get there, then why you installed it in me? Why did you instill this in me if I can't get there? Like, why would you do that to me? This is not a joke. <laughs> this is a worse prank. It's not only if I have a bad day at work either, because most of the time, my days are good. But I still have those thoughts of, okay, this is not what I'm meant to be doing. And I feel bad because like I said, this job is really good. The benefits are unmatched. The pay isn't like, oh my gosh, spectacular, but it's decent. And I still find myself like unfulfilled. If I look like I have it all together, sometimes I don't. And I'm not talking about like life-wise as far as like bills and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like what I want to do in life, like where I see myself, because it's two different things. It's one thing to take care of your responsibilities, but it's another thing to like really live out your dream. It's totally different. Cause I know people like, oh, she seems so happy. It could have fooled me. Da -da. Happiness to me is like fluid. I feel like there's no true definition of happiness because everyone has their own definition of true happiness. Happiness can mean anything. You know, happiness can be something as small as I was craving chocolate and went and got a snicker bar. Now I'm happy. Like, you know, like, what is happiness? Like, that don't mean nothing to me like that. Me being fulfilled, me serving my purpose, me being humane, that's different. That's what matters. So yeah, that's just my job update. <laughs> Do my pictures from yesterday. I don't know if I showed you guys, but I can tell this is how some of them came out i will post the finals and on my social media right here on youtube and instagram because the outfit is linked this is me this is what i want to do this is the real me this is the real me anyways y'all i hope you guys enjoyed my day in a life vlog 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the red button below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more. I'm open to questions. And anything that you guys want to chat about, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section or always shoot me a DM because you guys do reach out to me online. So you guys can keep reaching out to me online too. I love you always and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.